Hey, what's going on, you guys? Farbus here, Farbus Turning Three, and welcome to a new video. And in today's video, you guys, we are back with another um, Minecraft survival. And in today's video, you guys, I know um, Chickadee isn't here, so this will be another solo episode. There will be a, some sort of solo episodes once in a while because we are actually going to have to work on the base. Um, certain certain videos I want to make, uh, and personally, it's. It might, like, yeah, he could obviously feature in the video. I'm not saying he can't, but it definitely needs to be, oh, we had beds right there. It definitely needs to be, like, um, like, it, it's more fun when there's the two of us. But in today's video, guys, we are going to be making this farm that we have right here that we've created into a, um, automated farm. However, this farm is not a full automation, um, because, uh, it is, um, What's this called? It is, um... Oh, you have to replant it and all that. Which isn't a bad thing, but some people personally do not like it. So, right now, what you guys want to do is be by creating this 8x8 here. If I'm not mistaken, it is 8x8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Sorry, 7x7. Seven seven, I think. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Wait. 2, 3, 4, 5. Five, six, seven, eight. No, sorry, you could go eight. So what you're gonna do is make a seven by eight layer here. You're gonna make a hole on the side of it. And of course, then for the next layer you do of course one up, seven by eight again. Same thing with this, this has to become by eight. And once you put the water at the top, it should flow all the way down. If it's not, then you might have done seven by nine. Um or nine by seven, depending on how you actually look at it. But right now what you're gonna wanna do next is you're gonna want to place some slabs because once you set the water flow down for collection purposes on the on the um oh oops once you do the um set the water for collection purposes because the entire point of this um automation farm portion of it is that you will end up making a what's <clears throat> sorry what's this called you will be making a um the collection system, correct, will cannot be blocked by the water source itself. So that's why you kind of got to experiment with placing these slabs. But what the reason why for these slabs, like I said, is to cover up the water. So once water flow comes in, it doesn't, it doesn't, um, example, it doesn't, um, the water doesn't like connect to the other water source, um, like to this water source exactly. So, yeah. So right now we're just gonna want to place all these slabs here. I don't know how I could place this slab. There we go. It's kind. It kind of does look pretty ugly. Like I'm. I'm admit that. Um. But that's why we're just gonna cover this up with like dirt again. Just pretend it's not there. And if you, as you guys saw earlier, if your, if your water source cuts off, then you know it went wrong somewhere. Like you probably cut off the source itself. So you're just gonna have to fix that, which is okay. Um. It's not a big deal. But, yeah, you can make a staircase going down like this, because the entire point, like I said, is to block the water, because if the water can connect to the, this source example right here, and you you can't really block this, personally, um, because if you do this, that's just going to block the water source and it'll stop the flow. So you got to keep this going, and the water may connect there, but it should be okay. Um, it shouldn't really like stop anything from your collection system. You might lose a couple of wheat if I'm pretty sure but Judging from the past from what I've done depending on how many layers you make It's going to be okay. Like that's all I got to say about it And the entire problem with this uh, type of source that we're making is that You're going to end up um, It's going to end up looking well, it's not going to end up looking. It's the only problem with this is like you're gonna have to end up replanting later on, correct? Um, and the planting st stage of it is kind of gets annoying because depending on how many layers you make, you're gonna have to constantly replant and replant, right? And that's not that's no no one likes planting a bunch of um, things. So anyhow, uh, let's keep on going with this. Oh, correct. So, I don't know, um, with making this, 
we I could speed this up but I would like to go at this step by step so everyone actually knows what to do and you want to stop it here because you're gonna make a water source that connects to these hoppers later but right now what we're trying to focus on maintaining is trying to build this um, this slab source itself because like I said if you don't make it then you might end up losing a bunch of crops to your water source and closing off this, we're almost done it actually. I guess I, I never realized this until I started making this. Like you could just do that. Or you could even do this if you wanted to just to make it look nice. But I went one too high here. So technically you could just go down right here already. You can make it fancy. You can make it how you want. Um, and then of course you want to make a hopper system. I don't want to spend so much like iron on hoppers. So... Even one hopper is enough because we'll. I'm going to make a connecting water source from here all the way down this way. Um, so what we're going to do next is I'm going to place a bunch of slabs here because to stop the connection source, correct? And um, once we're here, yep, like that. And we're just going to stop it like this as well, just because we don't want it to. Um, we don't want it to you know like flow outside even if we want an entrance so that's why we'll just put the entrance underneath like this for now and then what we're gonna do is I need to place a dirt block right there once they flow this way oh that's a problem actually we're actually gonna have to change the hopper system here um, um, because of the thing like if you want to save hoppers yes you can you can do something like you could do something like this um, you or actually, you know what? I'm not bother. I'm not gonna bother showing it. But what you do pretty much is once you. Why are there so many things right here? And also, why didn't it flow in? Oh no, there it is. You could, if you wanted to, make this one lower, and then everything will fall down into this water source, and then it'll flow into the hoppers and into the chest. But for for the case of this episode, you guys, I'm going to work on um, grabbing some hoppers itself, and then creating. Um, the chest source because we have a lot of iron and I'm going up because in if you guys didn't didn't notice um <laughs> I didn't notice you joined <laughs> I didn't notice you joined anyways but if you guys haven't seen we collected a bunch of iron recently and right now like we can just use it I mean there's no harm do in doing so we're gonna end up like just getting more later um but yeah let's get some chests made here and then, I do. Need, <laughs> then the entire automation system will be made after. Um, there we go. And then hopper. I don't know how to make a hopper. There we go. Nine hoppers. That should be more than enough. But just to be safe, we're going to create more. Because, like I said, so much iron. It doesn't really matter. Until it matters for some type of big project. I also when noticed... Did I start recording? When did I start recording? Um, let's see. Eight That's minutes ago? Eight minutes ago? Uh, 20. 15. Okay. I got on like 522-ish. Alright. Anyways. Um, I'm, yeah, I just wanted to start creating this episode because like... Like, it was a solo episode anyways because... Doing it, both of us, like just... We could be doing our own things, but like... It's just mainly focused. But, yeah. Once you guys get the hopper set up like this... The collection system... For example, once... Um, it should stop here, right? So we're going to block this off a little bit because even if you were to send that over, it'll flow. Like take example, if your if your stuff gets caught here, it'll still flow into the hop. Oh, it won't flow into the hopper. Okay, maybe we can't put a slab there. We're going to cover it up like this instead and then do the same with the other side. Um, this is a custom build and it'll still flow in. It should flow into the hopper if I'm not mistaken. We're just going to make a little test right there and then into the hopper it goes. It's not just sitting there. And then we're going to work on the automation part of it as soon as I break this hopper because it's in the way. So from up here, um, you're going to have to dig out a bunch. So um, yeah, I'll come back to you guys once where I'm dug and digging this part out. All right, you guys. So we're back. I cleared out uh, like three spaces back from the wheat farm. That's all you really need. And there you go. Wow. <laughs> I literally <laughs> said, wait. <laughs> Okay, right, right now you're going to want to place a bunch of dispensers along here because your dispensers are going to be the ones that are holding the water bucket. So a lot of iron actually can go into this uh, project, 
um, because you need to buy a bunch. You need to get a bunch of buckets, oh. correct? Fuck. And then what we're gonna do? You could just set up a, like redstone dust on top of the dispensers, but honestly, I'm just gonna put repeaters so I don't have to use a bunch. Or actually, no, it uses a lot more redstone dust, but. I'm just gonna put repeaters. We a lot of redstone, though. Yeah, I know. I got all the redstone last time, but I'm gonna put all the redstone repeaters down, you guys. And I, uh, we have a lot of redstone, yeah. So it doesn't really matter. And we're gonna want to connect these up, right? Connect these all up, and it should, if I'm not mistaken, they should all light up. Which we're gonna test with a lever, which I do not have on me. Let's just test it with a button for now. I'll get rid of the button because we don't need it. If I were just to test it right here. Yeah, they all turn on, so that's all you need to know. And if you, just if you guys didn't know, you gotta make sure you gotta uh, every 15 redstone dust, you gotta place another repeater because it doesn't go longer than that. So what we're gonna do is set up the repeaters like this, and you're gonna want to have the repeaters backwards here. You don't need to do any ticks with this because it is an auto farm, so it's just gonna place the things, um, and you're gonna be running it with a lever, so it'll turn on and off. Ah, uh, here's zombies. I'm scared. One, yeah, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. I won behind ten. you, buddy. I can't do a peaceful video in peace. Yo, watch it here. I'll drop you a bed, and I'll, I'll just go inside the house. We can just sleep real quick. Isn't that the bed from but, inside the house? No, no, that's the bed in my inventory. I was just There's a creeper. Just There's a creeper. I wonder if I'll blow me. <gasps> no! <laughs> okay, I'm in bed. I'm not. Too many There's monsters nearby. Run away, just run away real quick. Uh, I already placed the bed, so I'll just kill them first. Well, that's a pretty anti-climatic part of the video. I'm going to die. I'm going to die in this video. That's great. Don't I'm worry. coming inside the house. Yeah, yeah that's going to help us so much. The, the, <laughs> the, the, the monsters are going to be like, the monsters are going to be like, yeah, 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 don't okay. worry, I'll, I'll subscribe. Oh, I spelled it wrong. What? Subscribe. I spelled it wrong. Anyways, you guys, um, we're going back to the thing. Back. So I left outside. It's okay, place on the floor. I got, I got it. Anyways, got you guys, so what we're going to do, as soon as you place all the rest on dust, correct, we need to, um, well, one, I need to get a lever because I kind of forgot to grab a lever. So if you guys don't know the formula or the crafting for it, very simple. Just cobblestone and a stick, and then you make a lever. Uh, also, wow. I have way too many things on me. So where's our redstone chest? Because I want to get rid of it. This would be the more bottom, uh, in the chest room in the redstone chest. This would be more informative, you guys. But the thing is, with this video as well, is that it is part of our survival series. So I'm not going to make it so inf so formal, but I'm also not going to make it informal. Because if you wanted it formal, I would have not uh, connected to Discord, which you know. Anyhow. Um, which would have like got rid of the silence and all that, but yeah, we got our lever now. We could always test it, but while we're actually down here, I'm going to empty out my inventory a little bit more because we need. What's our dirt chest? Is the sand our dirt or the granite? Or don't we have a? Oh, there's our dirt chest. Yeah, we have a dirt well, chest. What we're going to want to do, you guys, is get a bunch of water buckets. Like I said, uh, I think how many dispensers we place? Like possibly, if it's a seven by nine. Uh, seven and Four, times three, five, we place about six, 21. Seven, 21 14. chests. What? Dispensers? Three, four, five. Six, oh, yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah, 14, 14 dispensers, you guys. So we're going to yeah. need 14 water buckets, which is a pain because that's a lot of iron. Um, Bread in French. Hmm? Bread in French. Oh. You're funny, eh? Is it actually pain? Yeah, it's, it's pain. I forgot about that. 10, my friend, 12, my friend told me about it. 14 buckets, you guys, and then we're all God, obviously going so to fill animal. them all up with uh, water. And yeah, I, I fixed the animal pen because we kind of needed animals. What time do you get on? Uh, let's talk about that later. <laughs> 4.30? What 4.30? It's 3.30. you get on 4.30? It's 3.30. Oh, wait. Wait, what? My, my my computer, I forgot, it's is always messed up. It's 539, right? <laughs> my computer's messed up. Anyways, you guys, continuing the video, we're going to discuss that later. Um, okay. Place all the repeaters down, like I said. Uh, just I'm going to just gonna place another repeater there. I, I like putting the lever here, like, more, more at the start of the thing. So if we were just to test it, you turn on the lever, the redstone turns on, and then... After all the, it hits all the repeaters, which this one it doesn't hit, which is why the 14 sometimes is not good. So that's why I'm just going to place another repeater right here, and I'll connect them all, right? Oh God. And once these all connect, 
then it should spray all water and then make all the collection happen. So just to be just to be sure, oh, there's an infinite water source actually right here. Um, what we're gonna do is just pick up some water. I think. T. No, the game's lagging itself. Okay, we're gonna pick up the water that we kind of need as much as we can carry. I don't need this buck oak button. Don't need this torch. I don't need that. Yes, give me my water bucket. And what we're gonna do is start placing the water inside these dispensers, the water buckets, because the w you could technically do it with one water bucket, but it is better to have all of the all water buckets because when it comes to creating this thing, you have to uh, take in the fact like it will spread, and it is better like this because it goes down multiple lanes. And then we're gonna fill the last three. Um, one, two, three. We will make auto sugarcane farm in a few episodes, maybe not this one, um, because we're, we're just trying to work on this portion of it. I feel like we're missing a water bucket. Why are we missing a water bucket? Where, where, where are we missing a, a water bucket? I have an extra in my inventory. Unless I did the math wrong earlier. Uh, I thought oh, I there it is. There's the water bucket, guys. So we're gonna actually have to go get one more water bucket. We could explore that some other time or off camera. We did a lot of off camera work, you guys. Um, not as much as I would hope because, like, say, example, the Nether and like diamonds and stuff. We have diamonds. We could set up for the Nether for in a few episodes. That will be definitely decent. And I think I might be starting to like maybe cut these videos a little bit shorter and stuff. But you guys, that's it for the um, farm part of it. So with how this works, you gotta make sure that these dispensers, of course, yep, all the dispensers are good. Make sure there's no water source that I can leak out of. Take example, I needed my piece of dirt right here. Like right here, that can leak out. So now, what you, what's gonna happen with this, right, is that you're gonna flow the water. Once you click the lever, all the water should flow out, as you can see, and it's leading all of them down. No, it is not. Why did it stop? Oh, because of this part. So the problem with this is that I noticed that you're gonna actually, I don't know how exactly to stop it. So what I learned is that you're gonna have to put another slab here somehow. Um, without it blocking the source which it will not which it will block the source so that's a problem that it stops that's why I usually I just do that what and then just set it down like that I'll just keep going usually I just block it off like this and just get rid of the dirt parts because um, you gotta cover each hole right and that's the problem the problem is with this as well oh is that God. this possibly might not be the most efficient type of farm because these need to go down right um, but I need to let's let's reset this. Um, let's reset this um, thing, and then we're gonna reset the water because once you turn off the um, thing, it should suck up all the water again from the bucket. She said, "Bro, what the heck?" Oh, sorry. You actually gotta click it again because then it'll take the water away. See, as all the water flows away. And what we're gonna do is put it, let the water flow again, and then it should go all the way. There we go. It's going all the way down now. Oh, except for on these ones, but they will flow like that. Um, problem is, is these ones because it doesn't make it all the way down um, because of it. So what we are going to do, we are making modification modifications as it goes. Because um, back then I used to, um, I used to. When I played this, like I made this uh, design, I don't know if someone else made this design in the past, but I used this design a lot back when, um, back in like Minecraft, I don't know, 1.9 and stuff. And I still think it's pretty efficient. The only non-efficient part of it is that you got to replant everything on your own, which you could also set up a villager um, to do it for you. Oh, they could do that. Yeah, villagers can replant in spots that need to be planted. Of um, new things. Well, we have a village, right? Right beside yeah, us. we have a village right next to us. So this isn't flowing down as you can see because of the dirt. So those corners are messed up. So what we're gonna do is do this and then this. And then what we sh what should happen is this. Should no, it does not want to flow all the way down. Um there we go. That that time it flowed all the way down. And then it should, 
because the only problem with this design is this part of it here that's why i usually like um just cut off this one side but for the case of this video oh. i do not want to cut off that one side um i will work on oh. a solution give me one second guys all right guys so i figured out a solution um what we're going to do here is I, it's not the f most favorite solution because I'd rather like save water buckets here. But what you're going to do is place a water bucket here because we're going to stop the source from up there to come down. And we're going to set it up like this. So there's still a water source flowing down as you guys can see. Uh, place another water bucket right here. And then it should continue to flow. As you can see the water is <laughs> still flowing down. Oh man. And then what I need to get is two more water buckets because there are still four other sides um, so this one cover it up retill the floor cover it up and then next water buckets I'm pretty sure this is the design I made like back in the original survival world you guys that I played I don't then. I don't remember that design any do you not anyways um, I don't remember if I actually built it in the other original world, um, but we're gonna build it like that. Last bucket going down, and then one, two, three, and then retill, and then when you turn it on, you guys, I'm just you gonna turn it off. The source and it goes all the way down and it should flow all to the hoppers which stops here But I'm gonna build a glass wall here You could if you want to do build a glass wall along here to stop the thing from flowing out But when you when you actually do Set it down you get a lot of the things instead. So there's only maybe like a 5% of the total loss Which isn't bad at all. I like it's pretty much lossless because like if you have a big farm like this Like I've made five layers that way like even if you just made one layer you could easily stop it by like this many like is a lot but i've gone up to five to ten and like it makes it harder but that's it for the video guys um like i said you just need dispensers rest on repeaters in the back redstone dust make sure it all connects all the way to a thing cover this up the water source so it doesn't connect grab your hoppers lead them to a chest and then later you're gonna have to replant them but that's it for the video guys i hope you enjoyed and i'll catch you guys in the next survival video bye guys bye